Hey guys, King Tot 11 here, and I am back to talking in the Utah videos. So I did that challenge last week, and I didn't have time to do other types of videos, but I'll be back to doing that this week. So, a few new things have been added. First, um, overpasses, the texture for two one-way roads, I mean, have been tweaked, and we also have statistics now. Now, you won't have any statistics be from before the update was added, so you'll have to play the game for a little bit in order to actually see anything besides straight lines. As you can see, our population has gone up, and this is the farthest I've ever gotten in Theotown. I really wish they'd add an expand map option. I'm not sure if people knew what I meant when I said it on the forum. Some guy was talking about how the engine and graphics or something like that couldn't handle it. I don't know. It's a little bit hard to understand. Especially when they're not... I don't think English is their native language. But, uh, I will show you something. Here's a building that Madison made, I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm pretty conf I'm pretty confident in saying that Madison made this one. Um, I'm gonna actually go find it quick. Oh, okay, so it wasn't Madison. I thought it was, um, it was Ahmad... I'm just gonna butcher the name, so I'm just gonna call him this guy. <sighs> I just feel like I'm saying your name wrong. You'll probably see this, maybe. Okay, maybe not. But yeah, it's cool. What does this say? This is part of a Madison Madisonville remastering project, but was cancelled because the hours already reworked it to be permanently in the game. Yeah, it's cool. I remember him saying, yeah. That there is a few things wrong with the building, like how they're too big. The windows were too big, not the building. I think it does look a little out of place, but it looks fine, I guess. It just looks out of place because of the direction it's facing. But it does look unique, be beside all these skyscrapers. Now, I have noticed that if you use... I didn't actually know this, but if you use these zones, you tend to get more skyscrapers. When you use these zones, like the level 1 zones you get these types of buildings, the smaller ones. They're still level 3, you can still get level 3 with these ones, but you're gonna get the smaller ones, like this. Although 100 people isn't that small. If you put higher density zones in, you'll get stuff like this. I didn't know this until like a, maybe half a week ago. Just figured this out. I just thought that both zones would, I just thought the higher density zone would have a better chance of getting you skyscrapers not they wouldn't spawn them in because if you look at this you'll only see skyscrapers in parts that have the high density zones because as you can see all over here no skyscrapers I'm calling any tower building like this or even over here like something like that a skyscraper by the way but you're wondering why this is over here this is a level 2 zone so yeah, I did not know that. Huh, this is a interesting building. Looks kind of old and dirty compared to the rest of these ones. Hmm. It's weird. I don't think I've noticed these ones before. But, um, yeah, um, I don't know. I think I'm almost out of money. I mean, $278 million, I don't think that's enough. I think it might go get bankrupt soon. Anyways, all jokes aside, terrible or not, it's funny to think that when I first started, this city is so focused on population that I was actually dipping into the negatives. <laughs> Man, what a change. So people are kind of arguing about the whole app. Yeah, I'm going to exit out of the game because I don't want to get the city corrupted or anything. That's what happened with the first challenge city. But everyone's like kind of... People are complaining about this logo. I kind of like the old one better, to be honest, but I guess I welcome this one. There was a really cool one that um, Ahmad made. I, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Okay, from now on, you're just this guy. I'm sorry. I just. I'd rather call you that than butcher your name. Hmm. So yeah, money is not a problem on this world anymore. We've definitely gotten farther on Ma on this world than Maville. 
Marvel wasn't one map size smaller, but hmm. So yeah, there's really no. I mean, if you getting ten thousand dollars when you have one hundred fifty thousand inhabitants isn't really much of a prize. I mean, look at mine. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything for my city. I have millions of dollars. What am I gonna do with ten thousand? Now you don't actually unlock anything at Megalopolis or Metropolis. The last unlocks that you get in this game at the moment are at Big City, which is thirty thousand inhabitants. Kind of a big jump to be honest, from thirty thousand to one hundred thousand, but not my choice. Um, over here, as you can see, we got a big industrial area, but not that extremely big compared to over here. I wanted, because this world is focused on population, you can understand why I did it this way. Over here, you can see our insane amount of water pumps. So, yeah, it uses 32% of the water. Now, one thing... Um, these things right here, they have insane range for their, like, pollution. Like, I haven't seen any buildings this, that have this much pollution. Oh, shoot, did I? Crap. <laughs> Glad that didn't cause any problems, right? Huh. So, none of the DLC has actually become, you know, you ha you aren't able to buy these yet. Oh, right. I forgot to show you overpasses. Am I being stupid? I'll show you the new texture for the one-way roads as well. Kind of pronounce that with an R. Set that too fast. Uh, I made it. Oh, okay. Alright, so when I hit about 100,000 inhabitants... What world is this? Metroville. Oh. Haven't played on that one in a while. But I haven't been noticing that my challenge city, because of its insane population, I mean, probably not as insane as other people's, I think there was this one guy with like 70, 750,000 people, I'm not sure, I can't remember, that probably sounds a bit too unrealistic, but whatever, uh, I'm thinking about doing a pixel art, um, pixel art time lapse, I think it might be cool, but I want to focus on my next project, the next top five video I just need to get one more idea for it but I'm almost done with the getting the facts for it oh okay I was gonna say something but I'll wait a little bit so the one-way road um basically they just made the yellow arrows a little bit more transparent I kind of like them being really bright yellow cuz I maybe you could easily tell the difference now you might mistake it, I guess, but it probably blends in more for all you people who love aesthetics. Now, overpasses, I've checked. They do not connect to roads. I, if they did connect to roads, it would have been a glitch, but I still want to try it out anyways. But you can put roads underneath overpasses. And for whatever reason, it still tries to build trees over here. Not sure why. But you can use overpasses on any type of road except for dirt roads as you can see um but when you select a road type besides dirt roads obviously you get these these little boxes in the top right corner this is how you will build your things um this one basically just makes a bridge that will start at one end with a slope and end with a slope this one will make a bridge but it won't wait what that's weird but that one's supposed to make Hmm. Am I sure I did that right? Oh, okay. So apparently it makes a slope at the end of the road. I haven't actually tested these out very much. This one will make a bridge without any slopes. Now these can be used for organizing your city and organizing traffic. I feel like they're a big use with them would be making overpasses with, with, with one-way roads. And you could create some really cool stuff with that. This one will make a at the end here as you can see basically if you want to make this 
make something like this but you want a curve in it well you can use these and then end it with one of these kinda said that with an accent there weird I don't I shouldn't have an accent I'm not French or I don't know I thought I sounded kinda of French there anyways we're near the end of the video here so might as well explain it now um I seen this one guy make some makes jokes about how he he's just making joke videos about a clickbait company and he just take ideas from people and making clickbait titles or thumbnails I kinda wanna try that so if you have anything any ideas I'd take them I might make a video on it it could be something like Theotown deals new DLC confirmed I'll do that probably oh and one last thing I finally did the art video it's on the second channel I'll try and remember to put a link in the description if you feel like watching it. Honestly, I don't know how I... Like, some of them pictures, man, creep me out even now. I don't know what went through my head back then. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And that's all for now. Goodbye.